I say, immorality, what is the meaning of morality and what's the meaning of immorality? Morality means what is right, what is sound, what is healthy, mm -hmm. that everyone can see. Huh? Mm -hmm. What is immorality? Immorality is just the opposite. Okay. So we Muslims, through the Quran and through the Sunnah of the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, I say that we have the moral high ground. That's my position. I say to fellow Americans that read the Quran and look at the life of the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, mm -hmm. and you will find that the Muslims, through, this, through the Quran and the, 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 the life of the Prophet, we have the moral high ground in all of the world. Yes. And as a result of that, in spite of the problems in the Muslim world, usually our families stay together. So look at America, in spite of all the sophistication, all the sophistication and the, the, um, the progress and technology and science and you know all the things that they're doing, what happened to the families? The families in America, is a, it's a fading family. The average person that's in America, they don't even know their extended family anymore. Mm -hmm. The people don't have a dinner table. You know, right. when you talk about the dinner table, there ain't no dinner table. Right. There ain't no breakfast table, there ain't no dinner table. Oh, McDonald's, sure. Burger King, you know, McDonald's, Burger King, and Pizza Hut and took over the tables. No more Sunday dinners? There ain't no nothing good kind of dinners. Mom and Dad got their own business. Mom and dad eat by themselves. Mom and dad got their own set of friends and sometimes... Because they too much yeah. Working or smirking, they doing something, you know what I'm saying? You know, family reunions. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? So what has happened is all the values is gone. When the family values is gone, then you got nothing but individuals who can be taken advantage of. So more technology, less humanity? That, that, that is. So, but let's look at it from this point of view, okay? Because we're all here together. We got to look across the table at each other, across the street from each other, and see, does my neighbor who's from somewhere else, do, do, does he have an asset that I need in my life? So these people from Somalia, or these people that's from, uh, from Saudi Arabia, or people from Egypt, or people that's from uh, Bosnia, or whatever, who have moved into America, you know, do they have an asset, although they're here, and they've been moved out of their countries when they come here, is there an asset that they have that as an American I can see? I mean, they still keep their families together. Mm -hmm. I see them still eating together. You know, I still see they got this here, they got this extended family, the grandmother, you know, mother and father and children, they are still in the same place together. We haven't had nothing like that in America for the last 30 years. We gotta ask them, what that asset comes from? It comes from a behavior. Where does that behavior come from? A conditioning. Where does that conditioning come from? The moral high ground of the Quran and the Prophet Muhammad's person because family is first.